So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a No Badges Pew artist response. Obviously, it's not exactly like No Badges Pew. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to imitate what he does in a digital format. So first off, you'll need to open Photoshop. And once you've done that, we need to start with a new document. So file, new, and we're just going to click on A4 and create. So we end up with a blank document. We then need to add in a photograph of uh, a hand. So you would need to go and take a photograph of a hand, making sure that it's on a plain background. I will show you why it's harder with not a plain background. So first off, we're going to unlock the layer. So we're just gonna head over to our layers and click the padlock, which unlocks the layer. This allows us to then edit the layer as we so please. So then what we're gonna do is go to file, place embedded and we're going to scroll down to find our picture of our hand that's my picture and i'm going to just turn it round so i'm going to hold down the shift key and turn my image and enter so this is my photograph of my hand obviously it's not the ideal photograph because we don't have a plain background this makes it easier uh, for us to select only the hand because it may pick up the background so just making sure that our selection is on our layer and not on the bottom layer, we're going to go to select and subject. So this is a really easy way um, to pick up something in an image rather than having to use the quick selection tool. It automatically picks up the subject in your image. If you think there's too much on the bottom, like there, I don't want that bit selected. I'm just going to go to my quick selection tool and I'm going to make sure it's on the minus as to get rid of some of that selection and I'm left with this. Once you're happy with what's selected, all you're going to do is go to select inverse, which selects everything else other than your object. Then you're going to click delete. Oh, I've not rasterized my image. OK, so you're going to go back to your layer, right click and make sure that your image is rasterized. That just enables things to be edited. So once your layer is less rasterized, we're going to click delete and that gets rid of everything else in the background. Then we're going to go to select, deselect, and we are left with our hand. Once you're happy with the shape of your hand, I can see I've got a little bit of background there, but not to worry, that won't really show up when we edit it. So we need to start making it look as though it's a no badges pew hand. So first thing we want to do is go into image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and we're going to whack that brightness right up. And the same with the contrast. This helps imitate the pale tones that no badges pew uses and helps us also see the really nice pinky redness that he includes in some of his hands. So it's already responding to the artist by you, by just editing the brightness and contrast where we're trying to imitate what the artist does. So once we're happy with this, we need to open Adobe Illustrator. So once we've opened Adobe Illustrator, all we're going to do is go to File, New, again, A4, and it should open up for you nicely. Okay, so once we've got our blank space, we're going to go back to Photoshop and we can actually drag and drop our hand into the same program. Drag and drop, and there we have our hand, exactly where we want it. So once this has been done, we need to add an outline to our hand. Now, this is where we get the drawing kind of imitation starts to come in. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to window and make sure that image trace has been selected. So once we've selected image trace, you'll get this little box that appears on the side like this. Now, where it says presets and it says default, we need to change this to three colours. So just give it a minute because it takes a little bit of time sometimes to um, change the image into a three-layered image. 
So we'll just wait for that to load. Okay, so we're left with this kind of posterized looking traced, Im traced image, which kind of looks quite nice, but it's not what we're going for. So then where it says view and it says tracing result, we're going to click that and you get a little drop down box. Now we're going to select outlines. So you can see straight away we, have re we've, we can see the outlines of the trace. Once that's happened, we're going to let go of this preview image here and we're going to select trace. Once that's happened, right at the top here, you'll have a menu, an image tracing menu. Now, to do to the next thing we need to do is click on expand. So once you've clicked expand, your image will change to add color into it. Now, right in the left top hand corner here, we can see the outlines, which is the white box with the red line through it, and we can see the fill color. Now. First off, I want you to change your outline colour, just change it to any colour you want, so I'm going to go for a green, and change your fill colour to this one here, which is none. The white box with the red line through means no colour. So once we've done that, we're left with our outlines. So this is where our design starts to come into place. So the only thing we need to do now is get rid of the border. Now to do this, we need to click the direction selection tool. So just click on this tool here, and as you can see, in each corner of the image and halfway through in all these points, these points are called anchors. Now this is where we can edit parts of our image. So if I just click on an anchor here, and then if I click delete, it gets rid of part of my path. So if I click on this anchor again and delete, it gets rid of another part of our path. So we're just going to delete all the anchors that surround our image so that we aren't left with a border. So just delete all those anchors just around the outside of your image. Let's get rid of them. And you can leave whatever you would like to leave. So that is the basis of our hand. Now, just to make sure that you aren't pulling one thing at a time, if you right click over your image, it says ungroup. Now, if this says group, you need to make sure that, that that's clicked so that it says ungroup. That way, when we move it, it will move as a whole image. OK, so once that's done, we can go back into Photoshop, go to our hand and we're going to drag it back into Illustrator. So. On the right hand side, you'll see a list of tools. Yours may look a little bit different to mine, but you will still see these tools. So this one here is the layers tool. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click this little drop down and we can see which order our layers are in. Now we want our hand to be the bottom layer. So we're just going to click and drag it underneath that layer. That way, when we move it, this one sits on the top of it. Does that make sense? So once we've done that, we can then duplicate the layers. So we want to make a couple more of these drawing layers. So we're just going to drag that top layer into this plus section at the bottom. So that little square with a plus on, that's where we're going to drag it to. Once we've done that, we can see we've got two of those layers. So then what we're going to do is we're going to drag and move that layer. So we can see there's two of those now. Then you can go and head and pick a different colour. So I am going to pick an orange and I'm going to place it back on top. Now, when I place it back on top, I don't want it to be exactly over the green because I still want you to be able to see that. So what we're going to do is just place it slightly over, but not completely over the green one. Again, I'm going to drag and drop that into the plus section and we're going to move it again. Change the colour. And back to the hand. Again, making sure that we can see all the different colours. So our drawing is starting to come to play. We've got the basis of what we need. So now what we're going to focus on is the black drawing outlines that Noel Badges Pew uh, has in his drawings. So if we go to the left hand side of our tool panel and we click the paintbrush tool, 
we can then draw whatever we like. So I'm just going to delete that by clicking Control Z. Or we could go Edit Undo. So what we're going to do now is before I do anything, I'm going to click and hold and select all of my layers. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click group. So as I said before, now that will all move as one image, like the layers have been merged together. Once we've done that, I'm just going to make my image bigger by holding shift and pulling it larger. This is just so it's easier to draw on uh, when I am drawing by hand with the paintbrush tool. So we're going to select the paintbrush tool and if you just drag and hold your cursor, you'll be able to draw whichever way you want. The thing about Illustrator, which is nice, is once we've drawn and let go, it kind of softens the edges of the paintbrush, which is a really nice um, technique to have. So we're just going to go edit, undo, and that's it. So at the top, you'll be able to see a little brush uh, menu. So where it says five point oval, we can actually see there's different types of brushes. So we're just going to go ahead and select just one of them for now. We can then make sure that it's the correct colour. So remember that the one on the right hand side is the outline and the one on the left is the fill. So we want to make sure that it's a black outline because we're trying to imitate Noel Badges Pew's drawings. So please be patient with this um, step. It can be uh, a little bit fiddly, but you will get the hang of it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing my own lines, kind of like Noel Badges Pew does. So we're just going to add in some scribbly lines, just like Noel Badges Pew. I'm literally just dragging my cursor all around just to get that kind of look. Now, if you don't like something or you mess up, you can just literally go edit, undo, and it's gone. So I'm just going to play around with my pen. It can be a little bit difficult on a laptop, so just bear with me. Okay, and we could Just add in some of those. So once you're happy with your outline, you can change the thickness of some of the lines. So if we just go back to our cursor and just select one of the pen markings that I've made. So just for example, if we select this one here in the middle, you can see it's selected because it's been highlighted. We can then go to the stroke section and we can make it thicker or we can make it thinner. So we can really play around with the thicknesses of line here. Now, obviously, no badges pew tends to keep them quite thin. But remember, we're not we're not trying to make the exact thing. We're just experimenting with his technique. So once we've done that, so once I'm comfortable and I've had a play around with the thicknesses of line, um, we can then start duplicating things again. So if we look at our layers, we can see all of our drawing section is here. So we've got our merge layer at the bottom, which is our hand, and then we've got all of these drawing, the drawing paths that we've just made. So if we just select one and then drag it, oh, just select one and drag it to our duplicate duplicating layer at the bottom that's made it twice so we can see here that there's two of those so if I just think it's that one if I just click that I can now see there's two so just to add a final touch what you could do change the color of it Add that back in, just going to make that a different colour. Mm. 
sometimes that can look quite nice. You can just move that underneath. So it's really up to you how you go about it. Um, but just so you can see a uh, comparison, we'll just move that. Like that. So you can see we've made our own response really using a digital technique. Um, but please do have a play around and see what you can create. Um, thank you very much.